Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul, another Dollar Tree haul. So recently, I've been seeing everyone doing Dollar Tree walkthroughs and hauls, and since my store doesn't stock everything at once like other stores do, they just kind of trickle things in, so I decided to just check and see what I can find this time around. And I did say, find some goodies, so I'll show you what I found. So the first item that I found was the Dial Soap. It's the Himalayan Soap. I just got it for the pink aesthetic. Just normal hand soap. Talking about pink, I found this really nice item. It's really cute. It was the only one that I saw and it was in a random place. So if you find it in your store, for sure pick it up. And it is this makeup brush holder. I've never seen them before. It has little roses cut out and it's this bright pink. And, you know, you can put your brushes or anything inside. It's pretty wide. Um, so I really thought that was a good find. Keeping up with the pink aesthetic. In some people's videos, I've been seeing these new glass items come in. In pink. And I was definitely going there to look for those primarily, and I did find them. I only um, got one style of them. They did have two styles in pink, and the other styles, there was one style in blue, and like a blue teal, and another style in purple. The purple one looked nice, but it just doesn't fit with my decor. decor. So I chose this one, and I just love it. Looks really high end. It's on the shorter end, but you can put many things inside. It can be a candy dish, or it can hold jewelry, or it can be anything. I just love the shape of it and the design. Definitely giving retro style. They do have another style in the same color. But I, I did not like that style so much, so I just went with that one. Keeping on the pink theme, although this is not really pink, but the box is pink. I <laughs> grabbed one of these. Twilers Italian Ices. Um, it's a four pack, but being that the weather is starting to get warm, it's good to have some of these on hand and what I like about these is that the freeze pops are not the really thin ones, they're a little bit wider so it's not something that you'll eat in two seconds uh, they did have a few flavors but varieties I mean of boxes but I chose this one another item with pink on the box and this is the first time I'm seeing this style is the Essentials heavy duty storage bag I have seen storage bags there before but what is new is that I've seen these storage bags before but what is new I never saw them in a three pack so previously a few months ago in one of my homes you probably saw it I purchased one of these but it came in just one in the pack so this time I see that they have three in a pack which is a great deal so decided to pick one up and try them another pink item that I picked up and this is the first time that I've seen these there in the crafting section is this embroidery needle bundle it's not really a bundle, but it's like one of those pen cushions. You know, it has a little rubber band so you can grip at the bottom. You can like hold on to it or whatever. 
Anna has a cushion on top so you can put your pens. Great find. It came in other prints too, but I chose this one. And they are normally more pricey, like if you purchase them at Walmart or something. Another item that I got in the same pink category. It's just the Airwake Mango and Hibiscus spray. I needed more spray because I ran out. So I'll just pick one of these up. And I always see these in there, so grab one of those. Talking about sprays. Another spray that I picked up. And I think this is a brand name. I don't know. If I if it's not, then I'm sorry. But I think this might be or maybe it's just the Dollar Tree's brand name. I don't know. Looks like a brand name. Um, this bottle, scrub free oven cleaner. I need to clean the oven, desperate need. So I decided to pick this up to try it. Lemon scent. Says it cuts through baked on grease and food spills. This is what I'm hoping for. Because I have a lot of baked on stains. So let's hope it works. Oh, and I just saw it's heavy duty and fume free. Very important, fume free. So excited to find that. I don't know if it's brand name or not. For sure, we'll try it. And another spray that I found. It's the first time I'm seeing this spray. Again, the pink container, pink bottle. Is the Salon Selectives. They normally have their shampoos and conditioners at the store. And like the deep conditioning lotion uh, but this time I found the heat protectant spray I don't know if this will focus come on it doesn't focus at all but you can kind of see it heat protectant spray repairing technology there we go tropical coconut oil to use your feet heat styling tools so excited to find that I almost thought to pick up a few more but the problem is I don't know if I will like it at all so I decided to go for one it's true that when I go back they might be all gone but oh well at least I tried it another pink item that I found I was really excited I almost freaked out when I found it, okay, was in the glasswares aisle. They normally have these like um, wax diffuser, wax melting diffuser type of thing. I don't know what it's called. Where you put the little tea light and melt the wax at the top. But normally they're plain looking like this, but this time around I found a very unique one. And the one I found has this beautiful flower at the top. Look at that. How nice. So the bottom is normal. Just white. As they normally make it. Boring. But it's very unique because the top has this pink flower. I love it. And I've never seen anything like that. So I'm very excited about that. Another pink item I found was this magnet. And I don't know if I purchased this one before, but I liked it when I saw it. If I did purchase it before, oh well, I'll just have to. So it says enjoy every moment in the pink skyline of the sunset. Looks beautiful. And Another item I picked up were these set of, I call them decor, but these set of like starfish, I guess. It's a set of three starfish. They are full starfishes, just decor. And this is in the new. 
like sea summer sea collection a shore living as it says there they did have the sand dollar and which I almost got the sand dollar but I decided not to because I was already getting quite a few things so just went with these and I will be using these in a few months and I might show you what I do with them in a future video now the last pink item that I got and you won't believe this and I didn't believe it either I was pretty stoked about it was their storage containers you may be saying what's so good about a storage container storage cube container and it is the new prints that they came out with which are amazing so let me show you this so they came out with three new prints and that is the teal pink and blue marble print you're thinking marble print yes marble marble print do you know the marble print that you see when people make those like like acrylic tables I think it's it's called something else but like they pour over a glaze over like a marble table yeah that is how nice it looks I'm gonna show you right now the camera may not show how good it looks so I of course got the pink and as you can see it's like a marble print but what you're not seeing is that it actually has glitter on top now you can kind of see it look how nice it looks the, I have to admit the aqua one the teal aqua one did look really nice also the teal one <laughs> I almost gave in and got those two but I thought, well, they will not match with what I have, so why should I get it? I would just put it in a corner somewhere and forget about it. So that is that. A few more items. Left to go. Sorry, my throat's a little dry. So the next item I got is this banner, it says happy 4th of July, and I like that it has the glitter around each letter, and the flag on the letter. I don't remember anything like this last year, or in previous years, so especially for 4th of July, they used to make like super generic things. They didn't put as much emphasis, so I was excited to find this banner. I almost didn't pick up anything because I had one or two things from last year, not that many, um, because it's the holiday that I have the least items for. <laughs> um, but I did pick up some things. I did find these set of three necklaces, which I thought were really cute. And they are red, white, and blue stars. Well, it's not really white, it's silver. And it's just a set of those three long beaded necklaces, which I think are really cute. So, 
for sure pick them up. They're really unique too. Because beaded necklaces normally just come with beads and not with stars. So excited about those. Oh, another unique item that I found. That's pretty happy and excited to find. Which you probably saw in other people's videos. But I think some people just walk past them. Like, they didn't really make any emphasis. <laughs> people didn't really pick these up. I did see in some people's videos, but they kind of just, like, glanced over it. And I was like, what are you doing? It looks so cute. So I did find it. And that's true. It's a smaller one. Smaller item compared to the ones I make for the other holidays. <laughs> but I still thought it was cute. And, of course, it is a gnome. And it is a 4th of July gnome. I just love this guy. He has the red, the white on his beard, and the white and blue hat. The stars. And I just thought he was really cute. He's small. But still cute. They had one or two other prints in the gnome, but... Uh, I didn't give the same feeling, festive feeling. I didn't really like them so much. I think it was maybe one other design. And talking about gnomes, of course. Again, I don't know that I've seen people talk about this in their videos. If they have, maybe I missed it. Um, this next item. But you know how on Christmas and holidays people like go crazy over gnomes? So normally in Christmas they make a lot of signs and here is this amazing sign for the 4th. And it's this wonderful gnome again wearing red, blue shoes and it has the heart flag design, tons of glitter of course really cute and on his hat it says stars and stripes and it has some stars i just love this one so much there were a few other designs in the same gnome shape but again i didn't like them so much i didn't feel like they were the right look for what i was looking for like the right type of festive they did have festive sayings like instead of stars and stripes it, had, it said other things you know on the hats and i think they had three different styles or so but this is the one i like the best how cute is he all right and last but not least the last item that i found is another sign and it is this cute heart flag heart shape heart shape flag sorry i love usa red white and blue and it's really cute to me first the what sold me was the heart shaped flag which you don't really see in most places so it's really unique and I thought it was cute. Secondly, what told me was the glitter. And third, what told me was the heart-shaped sign, which Dollar Tree does not typically make signs in heart-shaped, and the size. So I hope you enjoyed this video. That was pretty much it, and I'll see you the next one. Bye!